All praises to Yahweh by Shingao Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Honors and salutations to all sincere Akim out here pushing this truth and all sincerity. All right. When Hebrew Israelites, we come out here week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of America according to the Bible. All right. And to wake up our people, which are you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, to the fact that you're the people. That you're the people that the Bible speaks about. You're the Israelites that the Bible speaks about. All right? But our people want to go horn after all these different gods. Why and then they got the nerve to say that the Bible is a so-called white man's book. When the only thing that the so-called white man did with this book was took it and used it against you. Why? Because he knows that's your book, man. All right? Then they put up false images of who the Lord looks like and they call his name Jesus Christ. All right? Which the Lord was a black man, a so-called black man out of the tribe of Judah. All right? With hair like white, like wool and dark skin, man. His feet was like they burned in the furnace. But they put up an image of their image the same way the forefathers of this country did. All right. This is us saying Matthew chapter three, verse 11. It says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoe I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and the fire. That's right, man. So that was John the Baptist talking, man. Because back in his time, he used to baptize the people with water. All right, and he was talking about a man that was going to come after him, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's not his name. His name is Yahweh Shai, and his son's name is Yahweh. All right, but he they said he was going to baptize us with fire and the Holy Ghost. All right, that's giving us the the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of these scriptures to come out here and break them down correctly. And when he get any, any baptized you with fire, that's to keep you on fire. So you keep coming out here teaching your people. All right? Not, 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 not trying to sell out. And, and a matter of fact, the way America's designed all together is just a bunch of sellouts, man. If you want to be somebody in America, and you want to make it to the top, just sell out. So yeah, like John the Baptist said, he was going, he uh, got how his shot was coming. And he said that he couldn't even fill his shoes, man. All right? As great as a man John the Baptist was, he said he couldn't even fill your house shot's shoes, man. And rightfully so. Because your house shot is the first spirit of a creator, which makes him the only begotten son, man. All right? Unlike what your pastor tells you in church, because they don't teach the Bible, man. They teach an agenda, all right? And all these religions is wrapped up in one, all right? And it comes down from your oppressors. And the main one that runs the churches is the nigga woman, man. And they don't even know why they dress like that with them big ass hats on, all right? go to church and they make fun of that or or on them um them them uh, so, so called uh scary movies man. With, with the Wayne's brothers man. when they had the woman they was break dancing <laughs> with the with the hat on and all that catch so called catching the Holy Ghost man which the scriptures clearly tell you if you speak in another tongue it's supposed to be two or three to uh verify what you're saying so that's wicked in itself, man. So St. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. It says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. That's right, man. So that's why we out here. We coming out here teaching all the nations. All right? Damn. That's the script. This guy right here. 
Now this guy right this guy right here, you know, that's there, yeah, he got the 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 uh kind of the image of the Lord, man. With the white woolly beard, the white woolly hair, you know, that's the way the Lord looked. That's the way the Lord looked, the way the the way he got the white woolly hair and the white woolly beard, that's the way the Lord looked. Now how was shot? This one, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. You know? And this is the image that they put up in the churches, right? Which his hair is not white like wool or nothing. His hair and his hairs are not white like wool. When it talks about your hair and your hairs, it's talking about the hairs on your, your, your face. That was just crazy how you walk by. We was, we was just talking about that. Oh, the okay. image of the Lord. Now, what if what if I what if I challenge that? Where? All right, read the text. Read the text. Revelation one. Yeah. Revelation one. Because there's a problem with that. What's the problem with that? You see it. You see it. Matter of fact, and after that, God damn it. If you ask who, what, when, where, how, and why, every part of scripture, and Newsweek, and anything you read. So you think, all right, there's my read. So it's Revelation chapter one hey, verse thirteen. Don't, and, and can, don't read it with any emotion. Nah, we got this. But up. if you, you can, nah, listen, with, we we up there too. Heavy with, we got you. Go ahead. We gonna read. So it. Revelation one, uh, one and thirteen. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and a girt about the paps with the golden girt over the garment down to the foot. Right, and it always tells us. No, no, about, no, the no, dirt, no. about the dirt, about the dirt, the dirt. All right, the world's back. Go ahead, huh? His head and his hairs were white, like wool, as white, white, white as wool. snow, and his, his eyes so were as a flame of fire. So now, if his hair and his hair was white like wool, huh? that it would look like that, okay. like your hair, right? Yeah. Right? Whatever, whatever. Go ahead, huh? And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his voice has the sound of many waters. What's the castle there? That's yeah. the that's, yeah. that's, 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 that's about what the Lord looks like. So what's the castle there? There's more. 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 Okay, so listen, if your feet is like burnt grass, right? right? What's the rest of your body gonna look like? Read that last part then with burnt grass. Alright, so verse 15, Revelation 1 and 15. And his feet like unto fine grass as if they burned in a furnace. Yeah. 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 Yes. 
Why is that? It's more God the Father. That's the how. Excellent days. You're dealing with living King or God, the Father living King or God. So the ancient days is Yahweh. He created everything. But right? He created Yahweh. When you read you First, Daniel, you have the picture of him with white woolly hair. That right, shows us right, the meaning. So Daniel chapter 10 verse 5. All right, it says, Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose horns were girded with fine gold of you say that his body also like was like I'm sorry. his body also was like the burrow and his face as appearance of light and his eyes as lamps of fire and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude absolutely so you have the brass but you're by, you're bypassing what's it what's above the brass what's the line above the brass what's he talking about his face white like lightning what's talking about in his face as the appearance of light. Yeah. Face so as the appearance of light. The appearance of light. Lord God. And the he's not a black light. man. He is, he's, he is a, when he came into the world. All right, so what, what color is the Lord? All right, so what, what color is the Lord? What color is the Lord? All right, what color is the Lord? When well, it just told you he's black, world, right? It just said he's black. He's not black. He's not black. It's a, it's so what color is he? He's a Canaanite. What you color are can, what color Canaanites? Find the find the what image color of, Canaanites? Find the image of David, what color find Canaanite? the image of Ruth. David wasn't a Canaanite. David certainly was a Canaanite. They're all Canaanite. Oh, <laughs> they come from Canaanite. So Solomon is so, so Solomon's a Canaanite. He's of a Canaanite. He's not, a if you read the text on there's a They're not Canaanites. Man, there's, that's just like saying um Dude, I know you want you want a black Jesus. Can't like whoever told you one of black, black but Jesus it, 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 because he he would listen. lift black people up out of their out of but you but you dark skin. We lift ourselves out of our black out of our troubles in yo, the world. Get, yo, yeah. <laughs> you delusional, man. I was. Uh, you delusional. You said that they're Canaanites, right? They're the Canaanites. So so they all came from the line. They all came from the line of Cain, right? You're not Canaan, not Cain, C A I N K of Canaan. That comes from Cain, right? No! That it doesn't come from Cain. It's not a connection. I don't think there's a connection. It should be. Steve said you don't think. I don't think there is one. Exactly. There's, there's a connection. They, 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 if they're Canaanites, right? Because of who's their father? Who's their father? C-A-I-N. Okay, who's their father? The Canaanites. Since your mother is a Canaanite, your mother is a Hittite, and your father is a... Oh, my God. So, so, so a, now you say it, go for So the mother, the mother determined to... Of uh, Israel. The it's father. all of Israel. Dude, I know. Enjoy. Yes, I know. Enjoy. Oh my God, man. Right now, right now you said are, they were Canaanites. Right now, right now, we are here in Cain. Cain killed Abel. Right? Cain killed Abel. Right? It's not a connection. Well, all right, but, but Cain killed Abel, though, right? Dude, if the connection of the name would be C A I N. That's Cain's name. It's C A N. Oh, and so it wasn't no C. So what's going to happen is there wasn't no C A I N. Wasn't none of that, man. At some point, Christ Hebrew. Jesus will return to the earth. That's not his name, man. You will then. No, um, you're going to see because you obviously you hate the Lord when you look like what? the Lord. You have His image, man. Yeah. We all made well. Yeah. The Israelites were made in His image. Yeah. Exactly. That's another dude that don't like the Lord, man. But matter of fact, let's prove that point, man. Um, Yeah, kind. 
Simon, that's it. It's cut, cut. It says Simon the Canaanite. I couldn't think of that yeah, one. Shit. Cut, cut. But exactly. Still right up over the sun. Now that that's what that guy was trying to say that they was Canaanites. But that's the land that they was living in. Alright? So just like we, we live here, like I said, the, the reference, like we live right here in America. So they're going to call us Ameri American Knights. They call us American Knights. All right? That's the dude that's still in the Gentile state of mind. And the only reason why they called him Simon the Canaanite, because it was more than one Simon. I had Simon Peter. All right? And that was just the, the, the uh, uh, what they called him. They knew he was an Israelite, man. Simon the Canaanite and Judas Iscariot who also betrayed him. These twelve Yahweh shot sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans and into ye not. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's right, man. So they called him Simon the Canaanite. Judas Iscariot. Right, read that one more time. So, St. Matthew. Chapter 10, verse 4, it says Simon the Canaanite and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. That's right, so they, they betrayed the Lord, man. Well, what's the name? Uh, Judas Iscariot betrayed the Lord, right? But they, they, because it, it was more than just that one Simon, man. All right, that's why they called him Simon the Canaanite, because of the land that he dwelled in. All right, he wasn't actually a real Canaanite, because if that was the case, you know, then that would that would make everything in the Bible null and void. And that would make the Lord a liar. Because the Lord is not the author, author of confusion. Alright? That's the region that he was in. Uh, these, these twelve Yahweh shot sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, into any city of the Samaritans, and to you not. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. So he said, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. It ain't saying to go to the Canaanites. It said the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So that dude says clearly that that guy's just, he's he still blind. He walking around with the fro and the beard with the image of the Lord, you know. But he, he's clearly still sleeping. Man. And he don't want the Lord to be black. That nigga, he got that Stockholm Syndrome, man. That nigga want the Lord to be a fucking cracker, man. You know? And he think that they gonna that, that's what's gonna come save him. Well that's the people that's gonna come and whoop his ass, man. Then he gonna remember him coming up here talking about oh, what they say the image of the Lord was, what they say his name was. It's gonna be too late for that. Alright? And that's the that's the whole thing about Gentiles. You know, he said they came to, to uh, save. The Israelites first in the Gentiles. He's not saving no Gentiles, man. And that's talking about two other nations, man. Alright? That, that guy is a guy that clearly, you know, love, loves his oppressor. All right, cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm so, First Peter chapter one, verse one, it says, "Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to the strangers." You know, it says, "Scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and uh, Bithynia." Elect according to foreknowledge of the Most High. All right, that's that's it right there. You're talking about the strangers, right? They was in strange land. That wasn't their land. So there's they were scattered abroad. That's the people that the Lord scattered abroad, right? The elect, right? He said his elect that are scattered, strangers, because we had to come back into the remembrance of His word. Man. You know? He says elect according to foreknowledge. That's right. Elect the foreknowledge, man. Because before, we had to be taught this thing, you know? The Lord had to wake up certain men at a certain at a point in time. And the only people that was going to get us is, 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 is his elect, all right? 
Now you have you have like um Israelites that look like other other nations. They're strangers also. You know? Plus you had Israelites back then that knew they was Israelites, but they they they, they didn't want to accept that another God, you know, that the Lord had already told them to be Israelites. Because of where the reason he lived in maybe or the law or, or the way he looked. That's where you get strangers from. But, but people don't like looking up words and things like that. Because they don't want to be strangers. Yeah, because they don't want to be strangers. And they were a resident of that land. They grew up in that land. Man. The same way me and his brother grew up in America, man. We grew up doing American tradition. Alright? We didn't grow up like all oh, we Israelites, man. We knew this. No. We grew up, we grew up in this land the same way the rest of you Negroes and Latinos and uh, Native Americans grew up here, man. And a lot of y'all, the majority of y'all, are still following these pagan traditions and holidays. All right? So that's what the strangers were. All right? It says, it says, elect according to foreknowledge of the Most High, the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Grace, right. no, grace unto you of the blood of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. I'm sorry. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. That's right, man. So, right there, we up a little more. Where it talks about uh, the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Right, uh, elect according to foreknowledge of the Most High. And uh, foreknowledge means prearrangement. That's right. So, that, that's letting you know that the Lord already had, they were chosen from the beginning, man. All right? The elect were chosen from the beginning. It wasn't just, it ain't just happened overnight, man. All right? So, if you are elect, Way back the, when when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah gave the orders, when Yahweh gave the orders to Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah gave the orders all of you going down. That was his elective angels right there. That helped build this place, man. You know? That helped build this earth. Alright? So if you was one of the elect back then, you're going to keep coming back as the elect, man. Until this thing is until this thing is all over. No, and we be put back in our land, then you're still gonna be the elect because it's right there. We got our star forever. Alright, so the things don't ever be unbalanced. Not a war. Right it says, uh, through sanctification of the spirit unto obedience. That's right, through sanctification of the spirit through obedience. Alright, you're not going to have a heathen, alright, or another nation be obedient to Yahweh while Yahweh shot, man. Alright, what they're going to do, they're going to want to come do their own thing. As they already do now, man. But it's all according to the spirit anyway. Alright? A heathen's not going to get this knowledge, man. Like that dude, the way he was talking, he might have been a terror, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that dude just might have been a black cracker, man. Straight up. Because you trying to give him something. You know, he's like, yeah, you just want your white Jesus. I mean, your black Jesus and all that. So, yeah, man. That dude, he... he and furthermore, he don't have no understanding of the scriptures at all, man. All right? To make a statement the way he made, man. All right? Yeah, consider, yeah. and y'all, that's funny because the Edomite woman just walked past. Now she sees her, her Jesus up here. All right? She sees her Jesus up here. Who she's, who she's holding on to, grasping, don't want to let go. And she got a bunch of jakes walking with her. Soon as she saw that picture, she want to run off, man. Why? Because the jig is up, man. All right? This knowledge is, is, is going out, man. The vibration is already out there. You know? And it's only but so much more time before the Most High comes and just does what he got to do. I mean, everything is in play, man. You know? It says through sanctification of the spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. 
It says, through sanctification of the spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of your outside of us, God. So you got it. This this is about your blood, man. Too. We're Israelites through blood, man. All right. Not by coincidence. You can't convert to be an Israelite, man. If you wasn't born into this thing and your bloodline doesn't go back to a so-called Negro, then it, or Latino or Native American, guess what? It's no hope for you, man. You're going into slavery. All right. And that's according to the Bible, man. Which they don't want to teach you the whole truth in church. They want to sit there and lie to you. 